Okay, so welcome to Physician Academy. Today we're going to talk about hypertension again. And this time we're going to talk about JNC8, which is the Joint National Committee, uh, the eighth Joint National Committee, uh, and on hypertension and the guidelines they offered. So the guidelines start with adults greater than the age of 18. And they start giving out a whole series of guidelines about how to approach and what to do. So age greater than or equal to 60, the BP goal is less than 150 over 90. Age less than 60, the blood pressure goal is less than 140 over 90. All ages with diabetes and no chronic kidney disease, blood pressure goal is less than 140 over 90. All ages and races with chronic kidney disease, with or without diabetes, the goal is less than 140 over 90 and initiate ACE inhibitors or uh, angiotensin receptor blockers. So in general, if you're in one of the categories of age greater than or equal to 60 or age less than 60 or all ages with diabetes but no chronic kidney disease, you're going to initiate therapy. If you're not black, you're going to start with a thiazide or an ACE inhibitor or an ARB or a calcium channel blocker alone or in combo. If you're African American or black, you're going to start with the thiazide diuretic or calcium channel blocker alone or in combo. So that gives you a basic idea that they're encouraging everybody to start with thiazide diuretics or an ACE inhibitor. So the basic strategy is, um, first strategy is start with one drug and titrate to a maximum dose and then add a second drug until goal is reached. So you keep titrating the drug up until the goal is reached. And if it's not reached by the time you hit the max, you add a second drug. Um, the drug you'd start with would be either a thiazide diuretic or an ACE inhibitor. And you titrate to the max. Uh, second strategy, strategy B, which is start with one drug, then add a second drug before even achieving maximum dose. So you'd start with one drug, say a thiazide diuretic. Um, you'd monitor the patient. Uh, not a significant enough improvement, then you would add a second drug before you can max out the first. The third strategy is to begin two drugs at the same time as, a, as separate pills or in a combination pill. And initial combination therapy recommended uh, if the BP is greater than uh, 20 or 10, 20 millim uh, millimeters above the goal or 10 millimeters above the diastolic goal. So 20 millimeters above the systolic goal or 10 millimeters above the diastolic goal. They also, in JNC8, they also recommend that each time you visit with the patient, you recommend lifestyle modifications and you try to push that. The lifestyle modifications they're stressing are smoking cessation, control blood glucose and lipids in the diet. Uh, they recommend the, the DASH diet, uh, eat healthy and use to follow the DASH diet, moderate alcohol consumption or uh, no alcohol consumption. They also recommend reducing sodium intake to less than 200 2,400 milligrams of sodium per day. Uh, I thought that was a lot. And they also recommend physical activity, the moderate to vigorous activity, three to four days a week, averaging 40 minutes per session. Remember, JNC8 is evidence-based medicine, so they're looking at all the research and the evidence that's available to say what's the best choices. So of course, other things to take into consideration and how you pick up medication. So if the patient has heart failure, you're gonna start with an ACE or an ARB, uh, and then you're gonna add a, a beta blocker and a diuretic and possibly spironolactone. If there is a post-MI uh, or clinical coronary artery disease, you start with an ACE uh, or an ARB and beta blocker. If you have coronary artery disease, uh, ACE inhibitor, beta blocker, diuretic, and calcium channel blocker, uh, with diabetes, you're going to start with an ACE inhibitor slash ARB or calcium channel blocker and a diuretic. If they have chronic kidney disease, they all need to be on ACE inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers or ARBs. If they have a recurrent stroke, pre recurrent stroke prevention uh, or a history of stroke, so you want to prevent the next one, it would be an ACE inhibitor or a diuretic. And for pregnancy, the number one drug of choice is labetalol is the first line and nifedipine and methyl dopa. So that's a brief coverage of uh, JNC-8.